Hi everyone, this is a review that's been requested um, for my Audi A5 3 litre Quattro. Um, sorry it's taken so long, I've just been really busy and uh, uh, just haven't had time to get around doing this so I thought I'd do this now. Um, I'll just show you around the front of the car. So this is the um, special edition version which doesn't have any of the silver framework around it which I really like, it's all black instead. show you inside the boot. It's got a really deep large boot which is great um, however it does limit the amount of rear passenger space that there is and there's quite a noticeable distance so sorry difference between the space at the back compared to my if you saw my previous review on the um, C-Class coupe. Um, yeah, very little space really and I'm not a tall person um, so there's not much space at the back if you do have any tall passengers. Uh, something to probably be aware of. Kids probably fine um, but it is quite cramped. So we've got adjustments down here for the lumbar controls on this particular model and you can also adjust this section which actually pulls forwards and backwards which I don't really use to be honest but it's a nice feature it's got the S lining um, on the um, upholstery as well okay so inside the car going into a bit more detail um, what I really like about this particular car I've been in a couple of Audis and they all seem to follow the same kind of idea is that they've got a very simplistic layout but everything's very functional so the switches and dials a lot more simplistic compared to, to what we've had in the Mercedes and if you saw what I, my review on the Mercedes Coupe it lo looks more simplistic but I actually really like it I like the fact that it's very functional, it works really well everything feels very strong and sturdy so um, this car, I bought it at 54,000 miles I've had it for just over a, a year now and it's now done 82 and it's fantastic, it's tight as a drum um, nothing rattles, nothing wobbles um, yeah, it's just really, really good build quality. And I've had four Mercedes, and to be honest, um, after driving this, even though this was an older car than my C-Class Coupe, um, it, it, I, in my opinion, I think it's a better car. Um, things I can tell you about it. So this particular car has got the Bang & Olufsen speaker system, which is really good. Um, it's quite punchy, got very, very good clarity, and you'll see that on the doors as well. It's a bit hard to see in here, but yeah, they've got... Uh, speakers all the way around um, and it's got the nice quattro badges on there as well uh, I don't have the sat nav system um, because I didn't want it I've got a TomTom -tom and I find they're pretty better they're better than having the internal system and having to update them so I didn't go for that but um, I have got the mp3 player and I have got a 6 CD changer as well uh, gear system on here really straightforward we've got standard drive um, it's got the triptronic paddle shift as well which is really really responsive if you're someone that likes using that um, compared to the mercedes which had this kind of well basically you pressed the gear change and it didn't change for it for a second or so which is pretty pointless whereas this it's instant it's got the dual clutch so it is really good if you want to do that um, you can also use the the gear shifter you can put it into um into drive and you can push it over to the um, left hand side and you can move it up and down as well if you want to do that on the gear shift uh, and you can put it in sport which takes care of everything and has obviously the higher revs but you will burn more fuel um, parking sensors as well parking sensors in this car are really good so you can switch those on and off um, but it, it it has a display that pops up on the screen here um, which I can show you if I switch the car on so if I just switch it on this is quite nice as well so I've got the key is basically um, on the left hand side you insert the key it's got just a standard kind of key fob um, and I really like how the fact the display spins over so I'm just holding the brake down now if I push the key in and you'll see that it flicks over which I just think it's a really nice feature it looks really cool and um, so just, uh, just turn the stereo down so if I now put the car in reverse and you'll see that the the sensor system comes on so at the moment it's beeping at the front because I'm near to a wall at the moment but um, it's got a really cool parking system which shows you obviously whereabouts you're going to potentially hit something which I again I found which is better than the Mercedes one I had because all the Mercedes had was a bunch of lights that said you were close to something 
but you didn't know which side you were close to it or you know you know you just knew it was behind you or in front of you but you didn't know whereabouts so i think that's pretty good uh, it's pretty useful um i'm just running the car at the minute and you might not be able to hear this but if i just rev the car so i'm not sure if you can actually hear that or not but what i really like about this car is that it's got the v6 three litre quattro and it's the first diesel car, and I've had several of them, that doesn't sound like a diesel. It really doesn't sound like a diesel. Um, it's really refined and just got a really nice noise. You just think you're driving a petrol. You wouldn't know that you're driving a diesel. Um, so that's really nice. I really like that feature about it. Uh, the engine itself is massive. It's so responsive. It's really, really responsive, especially when you put it in the sports mode. Uh, it's, it's got all the power and because of the quattro system you just feel very safe and secure that you can drive it at speed and you can really use that power to pick up from traffic lights and that's one of the issues i had with the mercedes was that it had you know 220 odd brake horse but if you hit the accelerator hard and it's slightly damp you used to wheel spin and the traction control used to kick in which is a pretty pretty pointless really whereas in this you know you've got 245 brake horsepower and you believe you can you can feel that you can actually use all that power and actually take off when you need it so i don't drive fast particularly but i do like using the pickup speed so the, the kind of 0 to 60 which this is which is great you know in this car it's really really good um so the engine is fantastic i'll just switch that off now so yeah, pros of this is the Quattro system is fantastic. It's been really, really good. I've gone through a winter in this car, felt safe, didn't feel at any point that it's going to lose control on slippery roads. Um, yeah, just absolutely brilliant. I think the Quattro system is fantastic. And to be honest, I wouldn't go for another car without that system. So if you live in an area that's got bad weather or you live in, you know, in the middle of the mountains or somewhere where you need that extra safety, or you've got kids, you just want extra protection, I do recommend going for something with Quattro. Um, what this car lacks compared to Mercedes is some of, I guess, I don't know, it's just the styling tweaks that Mercedes didn't that, that, that did have. So little things like some of the, just the design of the layout uh, of, this, of, the, of the actual interior, although it's really, really nice, the Mercedes just had something a little bit extra. It just looked a little bit more special, whereas this looks more functional and kind of does the job. So it depends what you're really after. Uh, apologies, this, everything's in a bit of a mess here. I haven't washed the car in a while, so it needs a good clean, but all these wires and stuff, you just ignore those. That's uh, one's to charge my knackered iPhone, the other one's to, uh, goes to my camera, which I've got set up here as well. So um, yeah, generally this is all kind of clear layout, but uh, just, just ignoring that. Um, so overall, this is a really, really good car. Um, I haven't got any complaints, other than the fact that the rear has got some limited space. Uh, my Mercedes had slightly more legroom. That's all I would say. The comfy seats at the back, apparently, for people that sat at the back, um, but it is you know, quite a tight fit. So if you're large adults, you're not going to be able to go on a long journey in there. Um, other than that, yeah, not much else to say. It's a good car, very, very comfortable. Fuel-wise, it's not bad for a three litre. Um, if you had the A5 with the engine cut off, I'm sure you'd get really good mileage on it um, with the three litre engine, but this one doesn't. So great on long journeys, but if you're in going on short piddly journeys all the time, you're gonna notice the, um, certainly notice the fuel consumption in this car. Uh, sorry, again, this has taken so long to do this video, but I hope you found it useful. I'll just take you one more time outside the car so you can have a look around. So these are also Bang & Olufsen speakers as well on the, the side of the doors. So I really like the S-Line styling on this car as well. So there you go guys. Hope you found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did.